One thing I was really happy to work with you and your great team on is creating these silent salespeople, these great, great frame displays that really showcase high quality framing and it becomes a real important tool for you all to use to really upsell and give customers a way to visualize the kind of framing techniques um, that, that we're using on these different projects. So we'll just kind of start with this one. This is a shadow box typical of what we might frame quite often, right? family memorabilia that people are collecting. This one is really unique though, and I, I'm happy to show it here. So this particular piece has two pieces of Optium Museum acrylic. One on the outer layer, one inside the middle of the frame package, and then we've used mirror in the very back of it. The benefit to this not only showcases how wonderful Optium Museum acrylic is, but the center piece allowed us to drill through and wire on the pocket watch. And with the mirror back behind the whole frame, then you can look back in and see the back of the, the, the design of the, the pocket watch. So um, great, great, terrific look. So what do you guys think? It's beautiful. Yeah. This particular frame combination, too, is a great way to show customers how you can stack molding to take a skinny frame that would never be appropriate for something three-dimensional like this, but by combining it with a wider frame turned on its end, we get that depth that, w that we need. And then the side becomes very decorative, decorative as well. So great piece. I'm really proud of the job you guys did on this. OK, so I hear the railroad's big here in Ohio, right? It is, yeah. <laughs> OK. So this is a really interesting technique. Some fun details here that we've, we've used together that I'm happy to showcase. Um, so this is a reproduction of an old map. It's not the really old map, right? So it's just a copy. Mounted to a piece of hard hardboard, trimmed out here, and we've added the fillet right around the center here and added the railroad spike, which I think is a great way to add a little depth. Mm -hmm. Looks terrific. And the map continues underneath the, the spike, which I think is a neat, neat, neat thing to do. On the stacked frame combination here, we have one, two, three, four, five different components that make up the molding entirely. So we've got um, the Larson Jewel anvil with the axle combined together to make one, one big frame. And on this, we did a custom fabric wrapped liner, which I think is a great, great addition to your product mix because it uh, provides you a way to completely customize a one of a kind frame job for your customers because they not only get to pick the size, but you get to pick what kind of fabric you want to use on there. And by joining the frame ahead of time, wrapping it with the fabric, I think it provides a really, really high-end, um, great, great look. So great piece. I think it's a wonderful addition to the collection that you have, local photography, highlighting your railroad, the bridges, and uh, I think this is going to be a showstopper for your customers. <laughs> So these Linda Lobby prints are fantastic, right? So we wanted to design something that really showcased the variety of what's available and also the um, printed on metal material I think is really striking. But um, on this one we did kind of some unusual things, right? So this is a very, very specialized welded steel frame made by Bridger Metal Works in Montana, right? Extraordinary. Not everybody in town is going to have this. In fact, probably nobody in town is going to have this, <laughs> which is awesome. So in the background, instead of using a typical mat, which might be expected, we did something a little different, didn't we? This is a piece of just birch plywood from Home Depot, right? We stained gray. But when we brought it in here, didn't we, we didn't like it, did we? Yeah, we had too much purple. Too, the color was wrong, right? It was yeah. too washed out. We needed more contrast to really showcase the pieces. Um, so you did a great job by just you know, diluting some black paint, making a kind of glaze out of it. And I, I think the color is dead on, just perfect. I love it. So floating the artwork is another option that I think you can do a lot and showcase to your clientele when you're designing. Because I think you can add depth, add interest, and uh, increase your ticket because you get a charge for that extra extra work. So lining the inside of the frame, floating the objects, um, I think it just looks a great, great piece. Oh, yeah. Simple. This was really cool. Simple, but lots of detail. Mm -hmm. Really great. This looks really terrific. And I think highlighting local local people, local talent in your community, incorporate them in your frame shop display is a great way to engage the community and really make that conversation starter uh, when customers are coming in because odds are most moms when they come into the shop have something like this collecting in a shoebox somewhere stored. Um, and so by 
contacting Alicia, who's a gymnastics star in your community, asking her to bring a few things in and creating this awesome, awesome frame display for, for her is a terrific way um, to showcase. And we've used a lot of um, really decorative elements in here. Something that's a little out of the ordinary um, is the shape of this fillet here. Now, it takes a little knowledge of ge geometry <laughs> to figure this out, but it was just cut on your basic fillet chopper, and it creates a kind of a visual little, little pop that I think makes the, the, um, the frame really look great. Yeah, it's going to be great to have on the wall, too, because I don't think uh, the average customer thinks of many ideas and ways that they can take their items at home and custom frame them. Uh, and we were missing that on the wall uh, to really give people the idea and plant that seed to bring those items in and w how beautifully they could be displayed. That's so not only did it turn out really cool, uh, it's going to be an important sample for us too, I think. I think it yeah. will. I think yeah. for, for all of you, you and your whole team, I think to be able to bring customers over here and say, here's what we were thinking. Here's the technique. Uh, we like this floated. We like how the, um, the ribbons are attached. All these become tools that you can do to improve the customer experience at the design counter. Yeah. So it gets people talking and thinking about other future projects. And uh, I think it's a great, uh, great display to have in your collection here.